This is chapter nine of The Broken Word. It's called Rain. Um, it describes Tom, the main character, having gone through all kinds of turbulent and appalling experiences in Kenya, finally arriving at uh, the destination he'd had um, at the beginning of the, of the story, which is Oxford. So this is his first term at university, uh, dealing with the after effects of, uh, of all that he's been through. So chapter nine, rain. Rain strafing the river. Tom under the ringing bell of an oak, his face and hands glazed with the cold damp. One drop falling through landed amusingly on his parting. Deep plashing green, the lavish sound of water drenching water, rain thickening to whiteness in gusts. And the large calm of changeable weather, passing showers, thinking skies, Tom silent, having to wait. The large, composed silence of the library with its little human lapses, coughs, rustled paper, the bump of books. Thrumming a card index, the corners of popular titles soft as seed heads where the glue had worn away, the fibres coming loose. Then back at his carol, contentedly at work with the Meccano of an ancient grammar. Bright metalwork of Trojans, Danans, well-greaved Achaeans, buckling and unbuckling over an abstract plane as he went over and over, adjusting his translation. Tom picked up his tutor's small coal shovel and beat his blotchy head. The tutor fended with vague, slender hands. What on earth are you doing? Leaking dinges in his skull, eyes clouding, Tom athletically rendering him down until the whole study was lacquered red, chair, lampshades, pictures, books, and Tom himself, that old penny taste of blood in his mouth. He wiped his face on his pillow, considering the variations in this version of the dream, then got up to be gone before his scout came in. Better to go out altogether and avoid college breakfast. Instead, he went to a cafe where he could sit, eat eggs and foam-flecked rashers and feel like an open sewer, deep poison seeping from him and not be seen by anyone he knew. Freedom, solitude, rain, infusions of books, girls close by, everything hidden, the people gentle about their business, unprovoked shortening days like a coat pulled tighter.